Somebody comes to your channel and posts a tame, non-confrontational comment saying that they're on the fence about the layout that YouTube has bestowed upon you to shill to the masses because they know that's what you're best at and that's what you're famous for, being a shill for Apple, whoring their products out. Now you whore out Apple stuff and give everybody the big okey-doke and say they're great. And you respond with this? Saying somehow we're all to blame for making YouTube look so bad and that is why the layouts have to change? I Justine, I get it. You're a graphic design major. You artsy types, not all of them, but by and large tend to have a kind of a pretentious thing. I'm so above all you kind of thing going. I get that. Let me remind you of something, okay? The YouTube creator blog stated that these new layouts are meant so things look more uniform across multiple platforms and to turn visitors into subscribers. Oh god, I just shilled them out. Maybe even better than you. <laughs> That's what they said. They didn't say anything about people making their profiles look shitty because of their lack of graphic design knowledge. Okay? What you're professing here is absolute bullshit, and I probably should not have expected any better out of you. But this is just blatant right here. This is absolutely fucking blatant. In the first place, we don't have as much capability to be creative with our profiles, our channel layouts, as we did with the previous layouts. The one where you could change your font style and font color and move modules here and there and do this and do that. What do we got now? We don't have modules. We, we can't change our font color or any of that shit. You know what we get? We get a banner. And we get to drape shit down the side. Maybe a bit too idealistic of you to think everybody should have so much talent when it comes to graphic design. Especially when some of the better channels, unlike you, actually focus on their content. You know, making decent videos. Something you haven't done in, well, ever. <laughs> and try this one on for size, sweet cheeks. This is all predicated on the notion... That you two bigwigs have been combing through smaller channels. The smaller channels they give less than a shit about. And looking at their channel layouts and the way they design things. With their already limited capabilities to do so. And going, hmm, you know what? Yeah, these things look like shit. Let's take away their capabilities even further and give them a uniform profile design. And get that shit out of here. Why do you have to come off as so arrogant in the first place? Don't, don't, don't you know where you started? You got fucking lucky. You have skated by this entire time with that much fucking talent, if that. You fit right into the wheel of mediocrity that spins here on YouTube and that's been spinning mostly since Google took over. You're a paragon of mediocrity. Not the paragon of vloggers, a very puke-inducing term that YouTube tried to make you when they made you the head of their vlog university, which went nowhere, by the way. Do you remember any of the students of vlog university that, that, that went somewhere? Yeah, neither do I. But don't you remember where you came from? You got lucky when AT&T was handing out those massive 300-page bills, and you went, oh, look at this, page, brrr, went viral. Then when Google took over... They started taking the already popular people and whew, no more featuring those smaller channels and you were part of the people up there on that platform and you got lucky. So you should not be so arrogant. You do not have the fucking room to take such a demeanor with people that come to your channel and post something as tame as that. It's fucking ridiculous. Something as innocuous as saying, I don't know about these profiles, and you respond to that garbage, blaming the wrong people? You're one of the reasons this place fucking sucks. I mean, hell, look how far out of favor you've been falling. Archfiend stated so eloquently in a few videos a while back, you're not getting the same pull you used to get. The only pull you get these days is when you do a video on a trending topic like Harlem Shake, and whenever YouTube promotes you. Look how well you hoard out Apple products. Look how much you shield Apple. They want you. They need a shill like you. That is your role. Know your role, sister. You're a shill and nothing more. And for you to blame everybody else's lack of skill, lack of creativity with their profiles, is profoundly absurd. Profoundly ridiculous. You 
You never were much of anything. But you took full advantage of the impressionability of so many of the younger people here. Go look at her comments. Go, go look at a random sampling of comments in an iJustine video. How many of them are saying, oh, you're so beautiful. Like guys that think you're hot. Some of the girls that, 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 that see the embodiment of a powerful woman on YouTube and want to be just like you. Oh, stow it, sailors. You don't want to be like her. Successful and rich by doing essentially nothing? Maybe. But overall? Please. Maybe we shouldn't be focusing on the layouts and, 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 and people's lack of skill in, in graphic design as to why this place sucks. Maybe something else fucking sucks around here. I, Justine, you're a big part of it. And the rest of the people that, that have been pushed to the moon since day one like SXE Phil and Ray William Johnson. Maybe something else fucking sucks. You're not going to focus on that because you're too busy taking advantage of the system that still makes you rich. The riches you don't fucking deserve. At least in my eyes. And again, when does anything ever matter to my eyes anyway? You're the paragon of vloggers. And that's already starting very low on the totem pole. <laughs> At the very least, I, Justine, should issue an apology for saying something so goddamn ridiculous. If YouTube wasn't just using her as a cash cow, she wasn't making them money. They weren't using her status as a shameless fucking shill. They'd have sent her packing for making a comment like this to somebody. It's not doing so well. It got flagged to spam pretty damn quick. Then her fanboys rushed in and flagged the other comment as spam. <laughs> she should be goddamn ashamed. Something else does suck around here. I've been waiting too long for it to change. But I've become complacent with the fact that it won't change. Crap will always be promoted over that which carries substance. It's a fucking law of nature here on YouTube. I can complain about it all I want, but at the end of the day, all you need to do is look at that comment to get the perfect embodiment of what really fucking goes on here. But be complacent with what you have. Smaller channels like me, be complacent with what you have. Hold on to your partnerships. Piece of shit. End rant.